I just decided to show you another invention of ours. From the house plant pots, we'll make a heating cooker and a simple heater as well. Using these pots? Yes. And, and that's it. The main element of heating will be widely available candles. A usual candle? One, two, or three candles. A heater. And a cooker as well. We're now going to assemble a radiator from these pots. Turn it over. Like that. We put a candle in the bottom, and the warm air from the candle goes up. Like that. Yes. It's heating. One of our pots. The infrared radiation transfers heat to the second and the third. Where does the heat come from, Anton? Where can it come from? Let's try to assemble it, and you'll see how it works. Let's try. We'll hold a test and install the heater inside our tent. Uh huh. Anton, your proving ground is marvelous. Well, I tried to play it up somehow. Yes, so we have a thermometer like that. How does it work, Anton? Well, the upper line shows outdoor temperature. The lower shows the temperature inside. Here's the outdoor sensor. We'll put it into the tent, and we'll watch the temperature rise. Okay, go on. So what? Shall we wait? 30 minutes have passed. Let's have a look. Inside, it's 34.2 Celsius. Outside, it's still 25.6. Let's check this one. The water. Listen, the water is hot. The water has heated. Well, I can even feel it with my hands. It's really warm. Oh. Well, you can check the temperature. Wow. With the help of infrared thermometer. 82.8. 82.8, that's a lot. Well, the water evaporates at once. Okay, I believe you can make a heater from candles with your own hand, and can you make an air conditioner with your own hand? You can, though it's more difficult. Anton, the heater works perfectly. How are we going to make an air conditioner? Well, to make an air conditioner, we'll need a PC. It's behind your back. A container. And some ice. Not too much. Uh-huh. Well, I'll draw on the board again the operation principle of the air conditioner. Our container. This one. Yes. Okay, like that. Here we have ice. A lot of ice. We put a fan here. It will provide for the intake of air. Uh-huh. And the cooled air will come out of here. Cold. So there will be a hole here. Yes, the ice will melt, and it all will flow. Well, we'll leave a rim here. Oh, and we're going to leave a rim. Yes, I'm saying that because... Well... Alex, it won't melt. It won't melt in three hours. The guys have told me in four to five hours, these 10 kilos of ice will melt. Well, if the guys said that... Okay, let's do it. Close the lid and connect it to the power supply. Oh, it works. The cool air is coming out of it, yes. I'll agree with you. Go on, let's test it.
okay, Anton, we've taken out the heater, yet the inside temperature is still 36.4, almost equal to that of the human body, while outside it's 25. Here, 25, yes, well, it started going down, I see. How low can it get? I hope it will go down to 20. Okay, waiting. So we managed to lower the temperature to 18 degrees. You undervalued your own intention, I guess. A bit, yes. Well, in fact, I see two disadvantages. First, the design is difficult. Second, it's unclear where you can take so much ice. Well, the ice can be replaced with cold water bottles. The effect won't be that big, but still. Uh -huh. Well, maybe you're right. If you have nothing in your pockets and it's really hot outside, apparently a device like that, a manual assembly, will do.